Hello there everyone, this is Average Lego Guy. This is our first post on YouTube. And today we're going to be going over how to build a Lego Pathfinder from Apex Legends. So once we have the figure fully built, I can show you how to uh, give him his grapple arm. So all you would basically have to do is you would swap out the arm clip piece uh, and attach it to one of the arm pieces that we're using, one of these uh, standard little clip hands. Um, and then you would just insert the grapple weapon, like the grapple hook, into the arm. And it should be pretty poseable. You can make it look like he's going to fire his... Uh, grapple launcher um, and now we will be going over some of the benefits of this build uh, if we are looking forward into making some more apex customs and just want to see how he relates to minifigure size and any other posability and uh, overall characteristics that the build has now on to overall benefits of this build so as we can see here, uh, the figure itself is around uh, minifig size. So here we have the standard uh, Lego minifigure, and it is slightly bit taller uh, depending on what figure you use. If you're making some Apex Legend customs, of course, some of them are going to have capes and uh, armor pieces that are going to make them slightly taller, so they should match about uh, Pathfinder size. Uh, another thing that, that this one has that's pretty good is that it has uh, the little arm clips so it can hold weapons and st such uh, the arms are pretty poseable and maneuverable so you can make him hold snipers and shotguns and anything if you want to have him aiming down some sights as well as not just the arms being poseable but the legs themselves are pretty poseable as well you can have them kick you can have them leaning forward as as um, representing right now uh, the with studded feet also let him stand on normal base plates and such right now I, I just have one stud down there holding him and uh, another customization that you can do for him just to finish it off is you can always add either a sticker or a printed tile on his chest piece instead if you just want to make him slightly more accurate and that should be it for our Lego Pathfinder build uh, I will be doing a couple more in the future I will be trying to Make a video soon for my Revenant build if you guys want to watch that. And uh, thank you for liking and subscribing. Uh, please follow my Instagram page. It's at AverageLegoGuy. And everyone have a great rest of your week.